Hello, this is New Vision TV. I am Lynn Komjisha. Uganda Cranes custodian Dennis Onyango has been listed among the five finalists for the African Player of the Year. The CAF Award comes early January and New Vision TV looks at the Mamelodi Sundowns goalkeeper who is scaling the heights that no other Ugandan has reached. The anticipations are high and everyone expects that you give your best. 30 year old Dennis Onyango, the Mamelodi Sundowns Ugandan keeper, is on the verge of attaining the highest recognition any Ugandan footballer has ever received. He is among the five finalists for the CAF Player of the Year Award. Onyango is competing against his three teammates, Dolly Keegan and Helomfo Kekana, who are South Africans, and Kama Biliat, a Zimbabwean. The other contender is Rainford Kalaba, a Zambian who plays for TP Mazembe. Uganda's coach Mitchell Sirijovic is confident that Onyango would win a fair contest if there is no politics involved simply because he has excelled far more than the other four. Onyango is credited for enabling his club Mamelodi win the Continental Club Cup and his country Uganda qualify for AFCON. For doing his South African club proud, Uganda's soccer governing body FUFA gave him a land title for a plot on the new Entebbe Express Way. However, there are indications that the Crane's custodian is suspicious of the land in question and has asked to be given a different plot on Ginger Road. The award will be on the 5th of January in Abuja, Nigeria, where the head coaches and technical directors of 54 African countries will vote. In other news, as Somalia prepares to have a new government, the election of MPs who will elect the president is still going on. So far, Southwest State added five more MPs to the lower house, filling up 43 out of 69 seats in the lower house in elections held in the administrative capital by Doha. Somalia's electoral process started in October, and the federal level indirect electoral implementation team predicts that the remaining 26 seats will be filled within the next five days. Somalis continue to fill the voting centers in states of Baidoa, Portland, and Hishabel. The lower house elections for the Somalis federal parliament have reached halfway mark as 13 more MPs have been elected. Women are also winning seats and Mohamed Abd Senior, the member of federal level indirect electoral implementation team, predicts that the remaining 26 seats will be filled within the next five days. <laughs> Jawahi Adawe Abidi is one of the females who have emerged victorious, getting 37 votes against her opponents, Sadio Mohamed Abidi and Fadi Mohamed Abdhai, who got two votes and 12 votes respectively. Parliament or the whether or not I was so the Marnay, what's us animals and Kawanin, like in Hadda Dio Bolki, who so don't can and Lassio, or Haka Gabla Lassio, and what had the Ekartin was born with the Lot Madame, a Gabla, a wooden cane to a Duato Bodanko, so I can't do good than Kadisilhain. In elections held in Jahar, the capital of Hishabel State, three MPs, among them one woman, emerged victorious in the balloting process. Hishabel State has to date filled 17 seats out of an allocation of 37 seats, four of which are occupied by women. In the seaside capital of Kismayo in Jubaland, two members of the lower house, one of them a woman, were elected to the federal parliament. And now for a Pearl of Africa moment, we take a look at Lake Edward hippos. If you were asked to list wildlife in Uganda, the hippo is one of the first animals that would come to mind. Hippos are the third largest land animals in the world, only eclipsed in size by the elephant and the rhino. They can be seen quite easily in Uganda. The Kazinga Channel, which connects Lake George and Lake Edward, running through Razori National Park, has perhaps the highest concentration of hippos in Uganda and Africa. Take a look. The hippopotamus is one of the many semi-aquatic animals that enjoy the cool and clean water of Lake Edward. 
These huge animals play, sleep and even cool their bodies here. This explains why the popotamus in their name means water. The hippos lie on the shores in the morning sun and later in the afternoon rest in the water. These animals are friendly to people if not disturbed as they both enjoy the water of Lake Edward. They are herbivorous. They are surprisingly active and often traverse steep banks. They are surprisingly active and often traverse steep banks each night to graze on the grass. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch us again on your mobile anywhere on the go. I am Lynn Komjisha.